What's up guys, I'm Andy from 1A Auto. In this video, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. I'm gonna show you how to take this little rust spot and prevent it from turning into a rust spot where you actually have to cut the metal out. If you need parts for your vehicle, click the link in the description and head over to 1AAuto.com. So up close, you can see the rust goes behind this panel right here. We're gonna have to take this inner fender well out so that uh, we can access a little bit more of this rust. There's a little bit of rust under here and then also on the door. Now we're just trying to prevent this rust from spreading. We're not trying to make this a show car or anything. So we're just gonna try to clean it up a bit. So with the inner fender well out, I can see a lot more access, see a lot more of the rust. Uh, if there's anything loose, you can just scrape it off like that. Um, ideally, if we had a little sand, mini sandblaster, that would work the best. If we could get in there and just sandblast some of this, and same with right there. You wanna get as much rust out as possible. So, um, but we're just gonna use a grinder and grind it out. I'm gonna use a little air-powered die grinder. Um, you could use an electric one if you have the ability to have an electric one. You can try doing this by hand. It's gonna take a really long time. Your best bet is to try to get some kind of power tool, whether it be electric or air. And I'm just gonna go in, don't be scared, just go back, you know, cause we are gonna paint it after. Just get the rust out. So you can see right here, I ground most of this down, but right in the middle, there is these little pits of rust. Uh, we wanna get all those out as much as possible, cause otherwise those are gonna bleed through the paint and it'll rust through again, but like this. So like right here, it looks pretty good. I don't see any rust in there. Uh, there's a little bit right there and right there. So I'll just have to grind a little bit more. Okay, so I ground all that down and all the rust that I can see uh, is eliminated from this section right here. Uh, it looks pretty good right there as well. At this point, I could take a little bit, I could grind this down a little bit more and actually use some fiberglass body filler um, but in this case, I'm just going to try to smooth this down a little bit more and just prime it and then paint it. Uh, the next tool I'm going to use, I'm actually going to use this uh, DA sander, which is a dual action sander, which means that the pad doesn't actually spin. It more like just oscillates, which is actually pretty safe and it makes it easy to get a nice finish on it. I'm going to use uh, 220 grit um, paper on this. I'm going to make sure I wear a mask and safety glasses. And what I'm trying to do is just feather this out a little bit so there's not such a hard edge from the old paint. Okay, so here's the raw metal and it's feathered out a little bit so it's not shut such a hard, um, sharp paint line. So it's gonna look nice when we're done. At this point, I am gonna clean this up a little bit. I'm just gonna use a little um, alcohol cleaner and some, some rags, wipe this down. Clean under here as well. All right, so this looks pretty good. I'm gonna take some tape before I uh, put some primer on it. And I'm gonna wanna tape it back a little bit. I'm gonna tape up here for this one, over here for the door. I'm not gonna paint the whole car, I just wanna paint a little section. Mask it off a little bit. And I'm not gonna paint right up to the tape, I'm just gonna like feather it in, try to blend it a little bit. Just tape that. One thing you wanna keep in mind that um, if you have rust on the door like this, you're gonna wanna check the inside of the door. Uh, I'm just showing you for the video, we're just gonna do the outside, but um, you'd wanna check the inside and uh, take care of any rust that's on the inside there. Okay, so I put some plastic up and taped it up so that I don't get any overspray 
up there on it. Um, I do have a sharp tape line here. I'm gonna show you what that, that's gonna look like once we're done. And we're gonna spray this, spray this, and this I'm just gonna feather in, and we'll see what that looks like. All right, I'm gonna make sure I have a respirator uh, for when I'm spraying the primer on here. Uh, I'm using a rattle can uh, primer. What I like to do is leave the can in a bucket of warm water for about 10 minutes. Um, you're gonna wanna make sure the outside temperature is warm enough, or if you're doing it inside in a garage, make sure the garage is warm enough for what the can says to do. All right, so now, and make sure you're in a well-ventilated area. I'm gonna turn an exhaust fan on. Now, any area that is a little more involved, like you're gonna want a little more paint, you're gonna wanna start with that area first and then just work your way out. Just make sure you shake the can very well. This happens to be a sealer primer. Uh, they make other kind of, kinds of primer that um, has um, filler in it so that um, you could go back and sand it a little bit better get some of the little pinholes out. It'll give you a little cleaner finish, but this one will work for us. Going right up to the paint line on that top one. And then the rest I'm just gonna feather out. Looks pretty good right there. All right, so I'm gonna let that dry for a little bit. And then um, once that's dry, I'm gonna give it another coat. All right, so after that uh, primer dried, I did uh, two coats of primer on this. I'm gonna peel back on this tape a little bit. Peel it back a little. Get this out of my way. I can see the, the paint line right there, which is okay. And there's not really any paint line over here, which is good. Just peel this back a little. My next step before I go to use some uh, regular paint, I'm gonna take uh, some wet sandpaper and a sponge, and I'm gonna wet the sandpaper, and I'm just gonna just feather this out a little bit before. I want it to be a smoother transition. Take this. I don't want to go down to metal. I just want to sand some of the some of the primer. Now the reason I use the sponge is so I don't get my fingers in into the sandpaper, and that'll leave finger marks. Just gonna smooth this out a little bit. You can use lots of water. You can actually use a spray bottle if you want to. And when you're doing this, there's no dust because the water's preventing the dust. So if you, if you feel like you want to wear a mask, you can wear a mask. You don't have to. You can feel it with your hands. And make sure that it feels smooth. That feels pretty good. You do a little bit underneath here. Then I can actually take the sponge and wipe it off too. I'm going to have to let this dry. I'll wipe it down a little bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna take some tape and just move the tape back a little bit further back from where I originally used the primer. And I'm gonna to try to do the, the same thing. I'm gonna to try to feather the paint out and not paint right up to the line. On this one, I might be pretty close to the line, so we'll see how that looks. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be too bad. All right, now before I paint, I'm actually just gonna take a little bit of alcohol, wipe it down with a rag just to clean this area a little bit. Now I'm gonna take my um, spray can of matching paint to this vehicle and just make sure I shake it up 
I did leave it in a bucket of warm water for about 10 minutes before and I'm just making sure that the room's warm enough and in a well ventilated area. I'm going to put my mask on. And then I'm just going to just paint this area. Just go back and forth. Try to feather it in a little bit. Not go right up to the paint line. Just trying to blend it in. It's looking pretty good. All right, so that's a nice thin coat. I'm gonna wait about 10 minutes and give it another coat. Okay, so that's dried for about 10 minutes. Now I'm gonna give it another coat. Spread it around a little bit. It's looking pretty good. Try to go from the end to end. So you start the spray can over here and end, and then a couple times I stopped in the middle, but just try to go, try to spread the paint out. You don't want to put too much paint on. You're better off doing more coats versus putting too much paint on because then you're going to have it run. Okay, so I messed up a little bit. I know it's hard to believe, but I do mess up sometimes. So um, what we did was I had a little extra paint on here when I was spraying. I held it there too long and we have a drip. Normally with this vehicle being 10 years old and what we're doing, I wouldn't even care, but I'm making a video. So I figured I'd show you how we're gonna make this better. Um, first, we're going to wet sand this a little bit and then once that dries, we'll give it another coat and hopefully uh, eliminate that drip spot. All right, so I'm going to take some 400 grit wet sand paper and I'm just going to try to sand out the little drip. I'm trying to just put pressure where the drip is. All right, that looks pretty good. Got most of it out. So now I'm just going to clean this off, give it another spray. All right, now I'm going to give it a couple more coats. Just lightly over that area. Make sure not to cause any more drips. I'll let that dry a little bit and then do another coat. Just wanted to build up the paint right there a little bit before I spread it out more. All right, so I gave it a couple more coats, so it looks pretty good. So I'm ready for clear coat. But before I do that, uh, remember up here, I have my tape line that we were painting right up to. I'm gonna remove the tape right here and see how bad the, the tape line is. So it's really not that bad right there. And I didn't paint up to this tape line, so we're just gonna leave that. Just wanna peel this back a little bit. So you can see the line pretty good right there. Just before I decide to put some clear on, I'm just gonna wet sand this a little bit. Okay, so I'll take my sponge and a little bit of 400, 400 um, grit sandpaper, wet sandpaper. in this a little bit, go in some different angles. Feel, try to feel that line slowly fade away. And there it goes, line's gone. I don't feel it anymore, I really don't see it. So that looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna clean this up, put another tape line a little bit higher up, and then we're gonna clear coat this area. It 
So we primed it, we painted it, and we clear coated it, and it actually looks really awesome. Um, if we wanted it to blend a little more with the other paint, we could buff it, we could do a little wet sanding and buff it, but the condition of the vehicle, I would have to buff the whole vehicle. So we're just gonna leave it the way it is. Came out awesome. Thanks for watching. Visit 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts shipped to your door, the place for DIY auto repair. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the subscribe button.